Hi, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Returning to a, um, the old catalogue, or should I say the annual catalogue, for this card. I am using Floral Essence and we're going to use this flower image, this one, the leaves and the sentiment with friend, friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. And then we're also going to use Itty Bitty Birthdays and the Happy Birthday. I'm making a small change. I've no ro Rococo Rose left, cardstock. So I'm going to use um, designer series paper instead. So saying that I've got a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half I have two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths did I do anything aside no I didn't by three and seven eighths I also have a piece of the designer series paper it should be three inches by five and seven eighths. This piece is one eighth inch wider. It won't make a difference. I'm not going to chop it off just for one eighth to throw in the bin. I have some scrap for the flowers. I have a few bits of scrap actually. And the leaves. And I have an oval. I think this is number six oval for the sentiment. So to get started, I need that, and I need these. We will stamp our images. So with a cocoa rose, we will stamp our flowers. And we need one big one. Hate to tell you this, but we're fussy cutting these. One big one. And two small ones. That's all we need that for. Now for the leaves I'm using Granny Apple Green. It's been a while since I used that. And we're going to cut out, stamp and cut out five, oh that's not good enough. Let's just get another bit. Five leaves. use the matching punch that goes with these leaves. How many is that? Four. Five. Right, and with our oval and the happy birthday from Itty Bitty Birthdays, we are going to stamp happy birthday just at the bottom like that and then with our versifying ink we're going to stamp with friendly thoughts make sure I've got it up the right way and we're just going to pop that just above it That. 
And that is all our stamping. So all we've got to do is punching and cutting. Put these little bits back in me. I don't know why I thought I was going to get leaves out of them. Hopeful, I suppose. Right. Punch all these leaves out. And then we, oh, I know what I never done. Never done the centres. I have got pineapple punch to do the centres on these. And the centre bit of the stamp. Didn't quite get that. Why isn't that stump in there? That's better. I don't think that was the right centre for that big flower. Never mind. It's covered. Now, we just have to cut these out. I'll try and stay in camera, not promising. I didn't have any of these prepared before, or I would have. Had them all cut out. One. Two, last one. Must be glue or something on my scissors. The way that card stuck to them. There we are. 
rid of all this rubbish. Right, let's stick this card together. So we're going to stick this piece. A little bit of overhang. Get rid of that. That's nice. And we're going to stick this on the card base. Could have done one of them flowers inside, couldn't I? Let's do that. Uh, no, the other one hasn't got one on, but that's doesn't matter. Actually went in properly. Right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put this oval on dimensionals. Now I have got no stamp, big stamping up dimensionals left, so I'm going to use my own until uh, my stamping up order come. I think I've said that on the four videos I've made today. I'll do tomorrow. Right, we're going to place that in the middle. one there so that needs a dimensional just there and I've just turned my light down that's because I've got my dimensional sitting on top of them and these two don't need a dimensional they're just going to sit there and that one So let's stick these on first. So 
that one there. Now these leaves are just scattered around the I'll put one in the middle. No I can't because of the dimensional. I'm going to put one there. These two will just go in the middle of them, like that. Right. I never on the other one, but I am going to add some gems. gold one somewhere. flower I like that yeah it looks all right so we'll do the same here put one of these in the middle of each flower We have it. No, that's today's one. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, I've nearly hit, well, I'm over 700 now. I think it was 733 when I last looked. Um, yeah, please subscribe. And if you want to see more just hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. I hope to see you again soon.